everyone welcome back to another counter side video so we are going to be discussing today consortium co-op and a lot of banners incoming for september 8 but before that if you want an updated counter side videos please hit the subscribe button i'm sure it's down there down below okay guys so what we have here are leaks um on event and banners that are upcoming on September 8th. So as you can see here, they're all rumored to arrive on September 8th. The first one would be your game mode, which is guild co-op, which is basically your consortium co-op. So this is a guild type of an event. I'll show you screenshots later on how it looks like and how it's going to play out. Next would be your SR, so Acad Academy Student Council, Yen Xing, Lanchester. Okay. She's nice. I'll, I'll go to her later. Then you have two other banners that are coming as well. So if you haven't pulled for them, they, this is now your chance to pull for them. You have Yang Harim together with Han Surim and Cho Ho Jin. Then another rerun for the twins. This is going to be very good for all beginners out there who actually started the game a couple of weeks ago or a couple, you know, or a month ago. Because again, they are very good characters, especially for Yang Harim and for Ainz and Zwei. So let's take a look at what um, our consortium co-op is going to look like and also give you a bit of a review on uh, uh, Yen Sheng as a new counter for this game on September 8th. Okay guys, as you can see here, this is actually a screenshot of your consortium co-op. So. I'm not sure what these are yet, the, the ones, the smaller circles, but this is actually your boss here. The raid boss is going to be here. So more or less, the, the from my understanding is every member of the co-op needs to contribute to taking down the boss. And more or less, this is going to be, I think, a weekly thing. We take them, we take um, the boss out weekly, then this content resets weekly as well. So, as you can see here as well, on your right side, there are um, certain levels. I think these are um, add-ons or buffs. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I don't know how to read Korean. But again, I assume that they are buffs. And also for this part, as you can see, let me go back. So, more or less, they're, they, of the, they are of the same text. So, these are going to be your buffs. And... On your left side are going to be the team comps that you're going to be bringing. So this is actually just a sample um, team comp of what um, is or what was being brought to um, Consortium Co-op. And you also have a a shot here of the battle. And the, the boss actually is kind of badass. It looks like a worm with scales and with rocky scales. So... Again, this is actually similar. The, the raid mechanic system <clears throat> is similar to what we have now for the raid itself. So again, there will be certain conditions to this one that you have to make sure that you comply. Probably debuffs. I'm not sure from the enemy. But again, every consortium member can contribute to taking out this particular boss. Okay, I'm sure that rewards will be out there or will be rewarded once we you know once a certain consortium takes out um a certain boss <clears throat> and also guys i wanted to take uh, this opportunity to thank um, my new guild mates in illustrado so um i just joined them today and i thank you for welcoming me guys and making me feel at home so i hope we could uh, enjoy this content in the next few days once it's going to be launched okay so here we are at yang shen so lanchester she's actually a counter again another counter that we're getting at three cost and for what she she brings to the table she is going to be terrific okay but the drawback for her as you can see here she is more valuable in pvp again uh for pve her score is at six out of ten doesn't she doesn't really get used that much in uh, in PVE because there are a lot of better options in in PVP uh, in, in PVE other than her. But in PVP, she is going to be very good because 
due to her ability to remove buffs and also to attack beyond the defender in the front. So this is going to be a very good, uh, very good um, unit because again we've had a lot of problems going through defenders in certain weeks of PvP that we need another one to get through. So we only have a few. So it's good that she's going to be um, released in Southeast Asia. And I think for PvP, she is actually going to be a must-have. Again, um, anything that could take care of the backline um, beyond your defender, beyond your striker, is actually a very good unit to have. So let's take a look at her skill set. So um, I, I forgot, by the way, she is a striker. As for her skill set, so basic attack swings her sheath uh, with daggers inside, inflicting AoE damage to the frontal area. Okay, Sherman's dignity is her passive, so all attacks increase evasion by 10% for 8 seconds up to 50%. After every two basic attacks, she delivers an enhanced attack, randomly removes one permanent, one non permanent buff on targets again very crucial because it's a debuff and if you put attack uh, attack speed on her um she's going to you know she's going to do this uh, more frequently gliding dagger so special so 16 seconds charges forward swings a dagger and then leaps backward inflicting aoe damage the first at attack randomly removes one non-permanent buff so again her passive, her special removes a one non-permanent buff. At skill level, the cooldown is a minus four seconds. It becomes a 12 second cooldown. So pretty much very good. Ethereal Sword Dance Ultimate. So 44 seconds charges at a target with both her daggers and inflicts um, AoE damage on surrounding enemies. The first attack randomly removes two non-permanent buffs again so again she's a very good debuffer at skill level five immunity to all damage for for six seconds after the skill so again she's going to be she's going to be great a great support number one she's going to be a great um secondary attacker to attack the back line and again you will be needing her in some matchups especially in pvp Especially now that we have two terrific um, awakened units as defenders, we will really have a hard time moving through um, to get the backline. So this, her skill, is going to be very, very good once we have her released on September 8th. Okay, guys. So I have here a demo of Yan Sheng. So here she is. Um, this is actually from the Korean server. Um, I do actually have her because I was able to pull um, a few on the recent banner that they had. So again, let's try to have a demo on what she is going to be bringing us in terms of gameplay. So let's take a look at her basic attack. Let's deploy her here. As you can see, very graceful. Again, a lot of attacks. Let's do summon... Let's do summon an AI. She actually hits the back part. So she can actually attack up to here. So again, she can really take or give damage to the back line. Let's take a look at her special skill again. So again, as you can see, the back line is going to be reached with her special skill. Then let's take a look at her ultimate. Hmm. <laughs> I like her already. So again, she is going to be very good for you in terms of taking care of the backline. I'm not sure yet if her basic attack would reach how far the, her basic attack would reach. But again, for her special skill, as you can see there, it actually reaches that far. So again, she's going to be very good. Um, she's going to be a consistent damage dealer for you um, in terms of the backline. So you have to make her tanky enough and also make sure that she deals enough damage to take out the back line of your opposing team. Okay, guys, thank you very much for staying this far in this video. Also, please consider subscribing. Also, click that bell icon and put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.